Hello, friends, and welcome to a new happy learning video. Check out how strong the sky is, and look at how hard the wind is blowing, and the surfer is riding waves created by the force of the wind. Today, we're going to talk all about something that we can't see, but that we all notice exists when something starts moving. Or stops, or changes shape. For example, today we're going to talk about force. If force didn't exist, this world would be very, very boring. Everything would be still, always the same. Can you imagine that? What a drag! There are two types of forces: contact force and non-contact force. Let's think. Contact force is produced when we touch objects to move them or stop them, like when we kick a ball that is still, and wham, it flies away. Or when the goalkeeper stops it before it reaches the goal. We also use contact force when we push the shopping cart. Or when we play tug of war to see who is the strongest, like these children. All these forces are contact forces, because they are applied only when they are in contact with an object. Contact force can also change the shape of things, like when we stretch a rubber band and it becomes longer. Or when we mold plasticine using the force of our fingers to give its shape, or even when we make a snowman. I love playing with snow. So basically, force by contact is what moves, stops, or changes the shape of things. The non-contact force is more magical because it is visible. It happens without touching the objects. There are two types of non-contact forces: the force of gravity and the magnetic force. Magnetism. The force of gravity is a force that makes all objects fall to the ground. Leaves fall from trees. Water falls from clouds. And even people can end up on the ground. Oopsie daisy! <laughs> the other non-contact force is called magnetism, and it is a force that magnets have to attract metal objects. Have you ever tried it? It's a very fun force. Magnets attract nails, screws, and we use them to stick notes. Pictures or drawings on the fridge. Now let's review. Force is used to set in motion, stop, or change the shape of anything. There are two types of forces: contact force, which is the force produced when we touch objects. And non-contact force, which is produced without touching objects. Within the non-contact forces, remember there are two other types: the force of gravity, which is the force that makes all objects fall to the ground, and the magnetic force, which is the force that magnets have. Have you seen how interesting contact and non-contact forces are? Now I'm going to put my feet. On the pedals to force my bicycle to move. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. Until the next video, and may the force be with you.